Hi everyone! In this video, we are going to design a furniture app in Figma in order to connect it to Bravo Studio and pulling data from Airtable. So first of all, let's create a Figma project and I'm going to name it Design Plus New. Perfect. You can name it whatever you want and then I'm going to press A on my keyboard and let's choose an iPhone 11 Pro or X artboard. Fantastic. Actually, I'm going to keep it so simple so it's not going to have so many artboards. I'm going to have a launch screen, a slide menu, a product screen, and then we will add a detail screen, promotion screen, and a web view screen. Okay, so let's get started with creating our launch screen. So first of all, I'm going to change the name to launch screen we need to come back to these names and add some tags in the end but for now let's leave it as it is then let's create a simple logo here so i'm gonna create a rectangle let's hold shift on our keyboard and drag and drop i'm gonna make it 105 by 105 let's align it to the center and i'm gonna increase the corner radius to 30 fantastic then let's change the field to 22 22 and 22 fantastic i'm gonna move it up then let's add a d letter here so i'm gonna press d and let's change its color to white i'm gonna change the font size to 65 points awesome then let's add another text layer and add a plus sign i'm gonna change the weight to regular and let's change the color to double F, D600, fantastic. Then let's right click on that and I'm gonna make it an outline, okay? So it's not a text layer anymore. I'm gonna make it smaller, pretty good. And then we need to have a text layer right under our logo and let's call it design plus. I'm gonna make it smaller, so let's set it to 24 points and align it to the center, pretty good. I'm gonna select all these layers, group them by pressing Command G or Control G if you are using Windows and let's name it Logo and then select both layers, once again group them and leave it as it is. All right, pretty good. One thing you need to keep in mind is that this launch screen is not gonna show up in Bravo Vision app, okay? We only create this for the actual real app whenever you want to publish your app to App Store or Play Store, okay? Then let's go ahead and design our menu screen, okay? So I'm gonna duplicate this launch screen and let's remove these elements. I'm gonna rename it to menu for now and let's change the color to something darker a little bit, pretty good. And what I'm gonna do is creating a slide menu. So I need a rectangle. Let's drag and drop like this. Pretty good. I'm gonna change its color to a solid white. And let's change the width to 281. And then I'm gonna increase the corner radius to 20. However, make sure to set the corner radius of these two corners top left and bottom left to zero, okay? So I'm gonna click on this icon and let's set this amount to zero and this amount to zero as well. All right, and now we need to add a profile image right over there at the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a rectangle here. Let's set its width and height to 50, fantastic, and then Let's increase the corner radius to 18 like this. And now we need an image. So now I'm gonna use a plugin called Content Real. And if you don't have this plugin, make sure to go to the plugins menu and from manage plugins, you can easily find the Content Real plugin and install it. All right, so now let's run the plugin. Fantastic. And let's click on the avatars tab. I'm gonna click on female like this and then Let's add a name and a username, okay? So I'm gonna write Emma Ashley. And as you can see, I'm using the Roboto font. 
Let's change its weight to medium and I'm gonna set the font size to 16 points. Pretty good. Its left padding is going to be 8 pixels. I'm gonna duplicate it by command D or control D if you're using Windows. Let's move it down and I'm gonna write a username. Alright, let's write at Emma underline Ashley. But this time, let's change the weight to regular and the font size to 14 points. Then I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter. So let's change it to something like this. 7C, 7C and 7C. Pretty good. Then let's group these two text layers and I'm gonna select our image placeholder and let's align them vertically. Fantastic. We can also add a status indicator as well. So let's add a circle like this and I'm gonna change its color to 20, C, 96 and 8. Then let's add a stroke like this. I'm gonna set the color to a solid white and let's change its thickness to 0.5, pretty good. And I'm gonna add a drop shadow to it. So let's change its Y to 1, it's pretty good. Then let's select all these elements and group them and I'm gonna call it profile detail fantastic its top padding is going to be 68 pixels and its left padding is going to be 30 pixels like this all right now it's time to create our sub menus we're going to create four different sub menus products promotions website and support so i'm going to start by adding a text layer so let's write products and then let's increase the font size to 18 points fantastic I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna open up the assets file that you can download from the resources section of this course I'm gonna import some icons so for the first sub menu I'm gonna import products so let's drag and drop it here pretty good select both of them and align them vertically fantastic then let's check the paddings the left padding should be 8 pixels like this and we need a small right arrow here so from the same assets file I'm gonna add this right arrow so let's drag and drop it here pretty good let's align all of these three elements fantastic and the right padding of this right arrow is going to be 32 pixels pretty good select all these elements group them and let's rename it to products all right now let's duplicate it move it down the padding between them is going to be 50 pixels like this and now I'm gonna write promotions and let's change this icon so I'm gonna remove it and let's bring its own icon fantastic Let's align them vertically and I'm going to put this promotion icon right under the products group here and let's rename it to promotions. Pretty good. And then we need to check the paddings. It's going to be 8 pixels like this. Once again duplicate it, move it down. The padding should be 50 pixels and this time I'm going to write website. Let's remove the icon and bring the website icon. There we go. Let's move it right into its own group, which is this one. I'm gonna rename it to website. And its right padding is going to be eight pixels as well. And last but not least, I'm gonna duplicate it and let's change it to support. Pretty good. Let's remove this icon and bring the support icon here. There we go. I'm going to move it to its own group and let's rename it to support and then check the paddings, 8 pixels, fantastic. All right, now everything looks great. The only thing I'm going to change is the size of this indicator. So let me enlarge it a little bit. I'm going to set it to 10 by 10 and let's increase its thickness to 1. I think now it's much, much better. Perfect. The next screen is going to be our product screen, okay? So let's press A on our keyboard and I'm gonna add a new artboard here. Let's change its name to products, fantastic. So in this page, we are going to have 
a hamburger menu right at the top left and after that we're gonna have a large title which is going to be the product title and then we need to have one card okay for our product let's bring the hamburger menu icon from our assets folder there we go menu drag and drop it I'm gonna move it here its top padding is going to be 60 and its left padding is going to be 16 like this and then let's add a text layer here I'm gonna write products however let's make it bold and I'm gonna increase the font size to 32 points fantastic its top padding is going to be 30 pixels and the left padding should be 16 pixels as well all right so as I've mentioned before here we need to create a container so let's select a frame tool and I'm gonna drag and drop it in order to create a perfect container I'm gonna set its height to 144 and now let's call it products title for now we don't add the tags because in the next video we are gonna add those specific tags so the next thing we need to do is creating our card so for our card we need to have an image a name a short description and a price tag so first of all I'm gonna create a rectangle here there we go let's make it a square so I'm gonna set it to 156 by 156 pretty good and let's increase the corner radius to 16 and this time I'm gonna use another plugin for adding an image to it so let's go to plugins I'm gonna choose the unsplash plugin and if you don't have this plugin you can again go ahead and install it so let's run it of course you can add whatever image you want it doesn't matter and now I'm gonna choose the interior alright I think it's great then let's add a text layer I'm gonna write name and let's decrease its font size to 16 points and the way to regular pretty good I'm gonna align it its top padding is going to be 8 pixels and these two should be aligned perfectly fantastic then let's duplicate it move it down here I'm gonna write short description and then let's change its color to something lighter there we go and its top padding is going to be 4 pixels once again duplicate it move it down here we need to have two text layers the first one is going to be a dollar sign like this okay and I'm gonna change its color to 20 C9 and 68 fantastic let's duplicate it move it to the right side and here let's write price so why did we split these two text layers because later on we are going to pull some data and we are going to change these text layers according to our database so because we are storing data without this dollar sign in our database we just need to change the amount of this text layer so this dollar sign should be intact all right its left padding is going to be two pixels fantastic and now it's time to create our frame because this card is another container so what I'm going to do is selecting all these elements by holding shift on my keyboard like this make sure to select all of them and right click on one of these layers and press frame selection and now we have a new frame however as I've mentioned before when we create a frame at least one of its edges should touch the left or right side of our screen okay or the top of our screen so in this case I'm gonna enlarge our frame so let's enlarge it like this I'm gonna set the width to 183 and the height to 249 like this and then let's group all the elements inside this frame like this and I'm gonna align them to the center both vertically and horizontally fantastic now we can ungroup them select the frame and I'm gonna align it with the edge of our screen so it should touch the left edge 
One important thing you need to know about Bravo is now that we are creating this one card, it's going to repeat it across our artboard, okay? However, how can you decide whether it's going to be repeating horizontally or vertically? In this case, whenever the width of your frame is less than 50% of your screen, like in this case, Bravo first is going to repeat it horizontally and then vertically. So the next card is going to show up right next to it and then the next row. And this is exactly what we want. All right, now we need to make sure that our frames are aligned perfectly. And let me rename it to product card. Fantastic. Perfect. Now we are done with our product screen as well. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. In the next video, we're gonna finish designing this project together. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you then.